What is going on guys? Welcome to Extreme Daily Drivers. It's another Toaster Tuesday and if you guys watched last week's video, you know today we're going to be reviewing the Hi Kitty 9 inch double DIN Android GPS tablet in your car. Awesome car stereo that I got off of Amazon. Link down in the bio. But before we get into all the awesome features that this thing can do, let's go ahead and unbox it. All right guys, let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what we got inside. All right, for starters, what we got here? Um, product manual, two little screws. Oh, okay, it's the rear camera. There it is, that's right. This actually comes with a rear camera. Um, I'm not actually be using this one. I'm gonna be installing a different rear camera in another video, but it's nice to know that it does come with something. All right, moving on. This is your traditional harness for all the connections. And it's nicely labeled. All right, looks like we got some splicing we might have to do. That's to give power to the unit. A little USB hookup, nice touch. Oh, this is cool, it's a GPS antenna. So we're gonna mount this somewhere so it has a nice clear signal for when we're using our GPS. Another USB. And this looks like, oh, they're all labeled real nice. I think that's an antenna for your antenna, AM, FM antenna. And then, yeah, we got our outputs here. So if you wanna add a sub, video out, uh, video in, nicely label, really cool. We'll have to follow directions, figure out what we're gonna do with all this stuff, but yeah, nice little touch. All right, mounting brackets. These are very different than your traditional cage that you normally get with a stereo. These are obviously universal. We'll find a way to make them fit. Here are some of our directions. Offline match, okay, so that's for the GPS. Pretty neat. And the unit itself. And like I said earlier, guys, this is the nine inch. It does come in a 10, but decided to go for a nine inch. It goes like this in my XB. So as far as installation goes, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, it's just like kind of installing any kind of car stereo. Now, I will tell you that the metal brackets that came with this thing, I was unable to use. Basically, the way that I installed this was using, um, if you guys watched my last video or two videos ago, whenever it was, I used a lot of those, the splice kind of solder connections that I got off of Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description once again for those things if you haven't already got, got yourself a case of those. But um, that's how I made all the connections. It was super easy to do. You strip the wire back, make the connection, heat the thing up. Um, so that's how I made all the actual like electrical connections. And as far as mounting this in the actual box, let me show you how I did it. So here you guys can see it's about as flush as you could possibly get. Uh, here's a top view. I don't know if the bottom view is going to give you any idea of what we got going on here. But um, basically this thing is mounted to this surround here. Okay, so I didn't, like I said, I didn't use the metal brackets. Uh, I drilled some holes into our OEM piece uh, to make it work. But um, basically I have two bolts going through the OEM piece and then into the side of the actual double din stereo. So installation wasn't too bad. I did have to get a little bit creative, but when you're installing stuff like this, you have to expect to get creative. And uh, overall, I'm really happy the way it turned out. All right, so let's talk about the nine inch display over the 10 inch. And uh, yeah, you can get this in 10 inch for like the same exact price as it's listed right now on Amazon, which is like $80. Um, but I went with the nine inch because I thought it fit kind of the layout of the XB a little bit better. And since I put all that time and effort into painting the sides of the uh, the waterfall here, um, I didn't want to cover it up with screen. So uh, nine inch is great, super happy with it. As you guys can see, I went ahead and changed the wallpaper to a photo of my engine bay. And uh, that's what's so cool about this thing, man. It's basically, it's basically a tablet. I mean, you can do anything on this that you could do on let's say like an Amazon Fire tablet. I don't know if they make those anymore, but if you have one of those, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and like a tablet, this thing can't do anything kind of on its own, or it can do very little. Um, a couple things it can do on its own is uh, run a GPS. So one of the cool things that this thing does come with is a pre-installed 
GPS unit. Now, if you're wondering where the GPS antenna is on this, it's actually stuffed behind the stereo underneath the dashboard here. In a perfect world, it would be mounted to a windshield or be mounted on the outside of the car or something like that. But I've read enough reviews on this thing with a lot of people keeping the antenna behind the actual head unit and it working just fine. So the GPS works rather well. I don't want to turn it on right now because I don't want to reveal my location. But uh, yeah, it works great and um, you can download pre-installed maps off the internet through a hotspot on your phone or a wireless connection. And uh, yeah, I downloaded all of Florida and there's still lots of room on there to download even more if you wanna you know, download Georgia and South Carolina and all the surrounding states. But um, yeah, really cool. I actually use it more than if I swipe my screen here. You see, I got Google Maps on here. So you guys remember when I did the unboxing, this thing comes with two USB cords. So what you can do with those USB cords is you could hook up a thumb drive, okay? You could download music onto a thumb drive you could go ahead and install this to one of those USBs and then you could have your music off of this playing through your head unit with no issues. So I have yet to do that, but uh, it's definitely option number one. Option number two is you can charge your cell phone. So um, you can get one of these cords, which I picked up on Amazon and I expect to install at some point. So this end plugs into the female section of the USB cord. And then what you can do is you can install this and somewhere in your car, which I plan on doing, have a nice clean installation and uh, plug your cell phone directly into this with a nice short USB um, instead of having cords kind of dangling and going all over the place. So I plan on doing this at some point. Got this guy off Amazon, I think it was $8. I'll put a link down in the description if you're interested in doing this. So another super rad thing that this thing can do is actually connect to an OBD2 reader, something like this here, okay? So this is the Foseal OBD2 reader. I featured this like 16 times in 16 different videos. You can find a link down in the description box if you wanna pick up one of these guys. I think they're now $20, they're so cheap. But yeah, this guy, plug it into your USB, download an app onto this thing, and they will talk and you'll be able to troubleshoot your car uh, if the check engine light comes on or anything like that directly through this and not have to use your cell phone. And you can keep the thing linked all the time if you really want to, uh, which is kind of a nice feature. So another really cool feature that you can do with something like this that I can't get working yet, but you can download something called Real Dash, which is really cool. I'm gonna open it up here so you guys can take a look at it, but what this does is kind of like simulate a dashboard, uh, and if I could possibly get this thing to work the way I want it to, I would get rid of my heads-up display because once you see this thing open up here in two seconds, you're gonna fall in love with it just as much as I have because it is really, really cool. I mean, check that thing out. I'd love to have this working all the time to show me my tack and how fast I'm going and all sorts of other awesome information. And the way it works is it somehow connects to, a, to your OBD2 sensor, whether it's through a Bluetooth connection or a Wi-Fi connection. Like I said, I've been working on this. I haven't been able to get it work just yet, but hopefully in the future, I'll have this thing going. And man, this is an awesome selling point if you're interested in getting a device like this. All right, guys, now to get the most out of this, you're gonna wanna hook it up to the internet. The easiest way to do that is to turn the hotspot on your phone and then connect. And uh, that allows you to basically use all the icons and all the awesome stuff that this thing can do. Let me go ahead and open up, open up YouTube so you can get an idea of just how quick it is. Uh, I'm gonna go here to my channel and boom, just like that, hit play. And I should have a YouTube video here in two seconds. Hey, look at that guy, that's me. So yeah, look how quick that was, totally awesome. So the screen is pretty sensitive. Uh, it, you have to have like a quick touch on something to open it up and go back home. Um, I can't really play music in here because it's copyright infringement, but I'll give you a quick taste. One thing that I love about this is you can hit that button and mute it. Now, how cool is that? I miss the mute button so bad in stereos these days, but you just hit the power button and you can mute it and then unmute it. And you can move the volume by sliding it or using these up and down volume buttons. Um, that's kind of a pain in the butt a little bit, but I like to use these, it's just easier to control. But the mute feature, man, I love the mute feature. This button right here kind of opens up a folder like you would find kind of on an Android device. This is all the apps that are on the car. A lot of these are come pre-installed. Um, some of these I've installed myself. What's kind of neat, it does come with a manual. If you forget how to do something, you can just swipe through here and remember how to do something or it'll teach you how to do something. Pretty neat. Um, and what else? What else can I tell you about this? Um, oh, let me tell you about kind of like the equalizer or the sound in this car how to set it up. So if you swipe down, this gives you kind of all these kind of quick features here. There's also a notification, which will tell you if you get any notifications from your email, text messaging, that kind of thing. Um, we'll go back to switch. 
and yeah we want to go to car settings so we go to car settings and here are some pre-installed kind of equalizers for your music pretty neat you can also download better ones if you don't like this you can download better ones um, and then we have all this kind of information over here uh, where's GPS detection it's gonna tell you whether or not it's working obviously it is pretty cool and that just happens automatically when you start it up so overall the thing is very fast for what it is it's not as fast as your cell phone but it is pretty darn fast and I'm really happy with it so like the one kind of negative thing is you really do have to have your hotspot on I mean almost all the time if you want to enjoy all the apps that you download onto this thing now if you just want to listen to music just want to have phone calls coming in and out then you can just use the Bluetooth connection like you would connect to basically any car stereo these days so I've been using this thing for a couple weeks I'm super happy with it totally lived up to the purchase price which was for me $129 at the time of purchasing I think it's a little cheaper now obviously check the link down in the description box but uh it's really cool because it can do so much stuff um, as you guys know I kind of featured it in the last video and I've had people DMing me on Instagram and asking how does it sound well I'll tell you this you don't really buy this for the sound you buy it for all the other things it can do but this did replace a Sony um, head unit that I had in here prior and to me it sounds just as good um, in the next couple of videos I will be replacing all the speakers in the car so the sound is definitely going to improve in here uh, so look forward to that but uh, yeah, I think it sounds great. I love that I can watch videos on YouTube while driving. I, you know, obviously for the passenger, you know, not for me. But uh, I could also watch movies if I want to download Netflix, if I want to download Amazon Prime. Um, you could do all that stuff. And it is really, really cool to have all this kind of in the car at your fingertips. If you're like me, uh, you hate fumbling around with such a little thing in the car. These things are easy to drop. The screen's small. You take your eyes off the road because you, a lot of times you're looking down while you're using your cell phone. With the tablet, it's easier for me to keep my eyes on the road. If somebody comes in and calls me, it shows up on the screen, really easy to see. And uh, the sound is really good too, I should mention. In my last head unit, the Sony, uh, I had the same kind of setup where the microphone was built into the actual stereo itself. And people complained all the time that they couldn't hear me. I could hear them fine, but they couldn't hear me. And it was uh, really annoying. Uh, but this one is much more clear uh, when speaking on it no one ever even questions whether or not I'm in the car so I'm super happy about that so anyway guys that is the high kitty 9 inch display Android double din GPS blah 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 link down in the description I mean I really was on the fence about buying one of these they are very very inexpensive but if I wanted to get something that was equal to this that was made by Alpine Pioneer JVC any of these other brands I'm gonna be spending four five six seven hundred dollars and i don't know about you but i don't want to have anything worth four hundred dollars in my car because that means somebody might break my window and take out my four hundred dollar item so uh, i don't mind spending in this case 120 dollars to get something like this and like i said before you can get this thing as cheap as 80 dollars now um but uh, you really can't go wrong with all the features features and functionality that it can do I really really hope that someday I can get that real dash app to work I got to keep working at that and trying to figure it out if I do figure it out I will do a video just on making that real dash work because it is awesome I've been doing a ton of research on it and uh, it is really really cool I just hope I can install it or I just hope I can get it working without having to sacrifice either a wireless connection or a Bluetooth connection because I'm still unsure whether or not this unit can connect to two different Bluetooth devices at the exact same time. So I'll keep working at that. You keep watching. We got speaker installations coming up probably next week as well as sound deadening, subwoofer, amplifier installation. We got all sorts of audio stuff coming up and we're really going to find out just how awesome we can make this box sound going down the street. We already got the thing looking awesome. Now we got to get it to sound awesome. Anyway, guys, that is the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Happy Toaster Tuesday, and we'll see you next week. Later.